House Democrats consider the next steps following the impeachment hearings. We're learning there's a connection right here in Rhode Island to one of the key aspects driving the inquiry. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni tells us about it. New at 6. Long before the whistleblower complaint that sparked the impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump, it was a Rhode Island slave runner that was the catalyst for the first whistleblower protection law of 1778. History books describe Essex Hopkins as a tyrant. His crew generally viewed him as wild and unsteady. The state archives provide a glimpse into the legacy of Hopkins, where there are several original letters signed by the Commodore himself. Hopkins was involved in the slave trade in Rhode Island. He then became commander-in-chief of the First Continental Navy during the Revolutionary War. While Hopkins was in command, 10 of his crew members blew the whistle on his abuse of power. Professor Allison Stanger studies the history of whistleblowers and wrote a book on the subject. There was general concern that that Hopkins was exploiting his public office for private gain. They demanded Congress remove Hopkins and lawmakers quickly did so. They were really angry at Hopkins for serving the interests of Rhode Island and his cronies rather than serving the Congress of the newly United States. Hopkins had powerful connections in Rhode Island. His brother, Stephen Hopkins, was once governor and one of only two Rhode Islanders to sign the Declaration of Independence. Stanger says there are parallels between Hopkins and President Trump. He's quite similar to Donald Trump in that he incited retaliation against the whistleblowers. Now, Professor Stanger says whistleblowing is an American tradition, and it's stories like Essex Hopkins that reinforces the need for whistleblower protections. At the State Archives, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.